right, well, one thing's for certain today is that the third eye is on high. You're going to have a strong need to use your intuition for matters of the heart. Um, I think that there might be a chance that you're invited to something that will be very passionate. It could be a party. It could be an exchange with someone. But one thing's for certain is that you need to lean into your third eye chakra. But also to make sure to see and choices at the bottom. So you might have to use your intuition to help you make a choice about something that you're passionate about. But when I see the passion card, it also inspires me to remind you guys to not move in a hasty way to make sure that you're not making impulsive decisions but also lean into the whimsical fun aspect of being on earth because that is after all why we're here be mindful that you are not being too far gone into your intuition and forgetting to ground yourself as well but the themes of today are definitely heart chakra in the middle of intuition I'm going to do pull a Kepler card too just to see what's going on. And it's like the entire third eye. Third eye came out and then with the intuition card and the passion. So you definitely, and there's a card flipped over in here. And you definitely want to make sure, yeah, mature man. See, mature man was already flipped over. So this might have matters to do with the father, uncle, brother, um, somebody that you might be dating older, a mentor. Mature man usually means just that. A, yeah. And make sure you're not in the space of poverty consciousness either. You want to make sure that you're being realistic with your situation, but not operating from a space of lack. You might get, you might also too be inspired to behave in a way that might remind you of an old version of yourself that you are, you know, you still love that old version of yourself, but it's grown into other things. So you want to make sure that you are passing your test today you know what i mean don't allow things that are designed to test your strength to set you backwards be mindful for any messages anything in the mail any text messages any emails um what's this poverty card here yeah so i feel like also too you might be leaning into your masculine energy and having to listen to a message from spirit that is going to cause you to possibly be in an uncomfortable journey of leaving poverty consciousness and going into leaving poverty consciousness and going into where that's rooted from and changing it right i'm gonna do one more here this is just a quick thursday morning pick me up or oh, you do fingers are still sleeping a little bit i'm very inspired to shuffle and pull cards for anybody who watches me this morning so we're going on five minutes the clock was four so also make sure, also to make sure you do everything in balance here like the message card is always anytime i see the message card with anything you're gonna get some type of news it could be big or small but then again it's like this stuff might not unfold until later on until you're forgetting about it this can lean into the next two days, but we're really going for the energy now, which is Thursday, today the 16th. Right, let's do one more. What's this property consciousness? Well, this property card, what is that? Because we got journey. Yeah, see, and also too, um, with the relationships, poverty coming out with the solar plexus chakra with journey it's like you need to remember your self-worth you need to remember that if you are engaging into something passionate and you have not had good relationships because you've been coming from a state of poverty consciousness is that you're going to want to make sure that you're listening to your divine messages and you're leaning into your um into you know your strong masculine energy but also too if this is a relationship with a strong masculine energy you might want to make sure that your head and heart are in alignment in all of your chakras. But with the, the solar plexus chakra here, there's a real need for you to remain disciplined. And we like to think that discipline is only about, you know, making sure we do go to the gym and eat right and all these things. But what about the discipline in our relationships? What about the discipline within ourselves where we have to really trust ourselves to have what we want and what we truly desire which brings joy and fulfillment we gotta forget we can't forget y'all that we came to earth to have fun like there is literally a need to just do things sometimes just for the pure joy of it and there's nothing else so i'm gonna remind you today to 
find your self-worth and to be responsible in your relationships but more importantly the relationship you have with yourself and with your divine because that's going to set the tone for all other relationships that you have yeah so that's what i got third eye chakra heart chakra solar plexus chakra be mindful of coming from a state of poverty consciousness be mindful of any messages you might even get invited out to go somewhere with somebody on a trip there's root chakra energy present too because all those kipper cards are heavy red and brown but don't don't let this scare you come out of this energy don't remain in this poverty consciousness all right it's getting cold out here i'm about to sip my tea and go have a great day y'all